Hi, welcome to day three. So you can see that we've got our date in, we've started writing in tasks and we want to add a category, but we don't want to be typing it in every time. We want to give ourselves some options. So we're going to format it by clicking on the cell and clicking on the paintbrush at the top. For this, we're going to choose a pop-up menu. This will give us a drop-down menu that we can choose from. On each of the items, if you click on those, you can delete them out and add your own in. So you can have things like personal or money or family, add in whatever you think. So as soon as you've got the three that are already automated for you, if you want to add any more, you just quite simply click on the green add button and you can add in as many as you like. The initial value I would suggest have as blank and then it just looks neat when you're starting to do the different concepts that you're adding in. So now you can see when we click in you've got these drop down menus. The cells underneath haven't had anything done yet because we haven't formatted them. Rather than do this by going on each of the cells what we can do is click on the cell we've done, click down the bottom on cell and pick autofill. Now you can see that I've autofilled it but I didn't change it to none in the first one. So it's autofilled it already filled out. So make sure you're on the none auto fill it down and then all the cells underneath allow you to do this drop down menu. If you click on the cell twice, um, it takes you back to be able to format it. And again, you can format it up the top with a paintbrush, click on cell, you can change the font, you can change how big it is and you can make it look aesthetically fitting in with the rest of your sheet. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.